So let's break it down. You know, so you're not, you might have the status of being Mo 3's manager and you have that and I give that to him because he did an amazing job. I even, I even, you know, marketed for the new, new album because I'm a big, I'm a Mo 3 fan for real. I'm a fan of Mo 3. I took to him because you was responsible for Mo 3. You know, or you put a lot of work in with Mo 3, but I see why niggas be really wanting to whoop his ass. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You basically end up doing the fast bash, and a uh, few people, it was said on my show that it wasn't nobody there, that the turnout was low, that, 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 that. Now, when I seen it, I seen people in the audience, I seen what I would expect to see because you run that thing how long from 3 to what time do you run it from 12 we start at 3 p.m. and we go we went all the way to 1 a.m. so that's so is it a transition where people are coming yes. in and coming and going all day it was a transition when y'all was there yeah that's what I yeah I remember that so was it empty? but it got thicker thicker as was it we empty were. when y'all was there no, no 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 okay so coming off of being gone for two years off of an event that I built up and then I moved the venue from a city to another city is not you're gonna have to rebuild <coughs> your your volume mm -hmm. okay so the volume that we had we had between three to four hundred people to hit fast bash july 6th i don't know who said what but the concert side of it was not as full because when your people showed up it was not during the competition okay the competition was thick full of people in that building every seat was filled people standing up so i don't know what they seen or what but it probably was the comp the uh when the headliner started showing up because it was an hour in between the contest and the concert where we had to switch over and stuff like that a lot of people were probably tired a lot of people came to support the local artists i don't know but being there from 3 p.m to 1 a.m it was it's, it was we didn't have the crowd like we had during the competition for sure but i'm gonna say this anytime that that people come out to support East Texas artists at that thickness of what it was, because if, if if whoever said that had been there from three to seven, they wouldn't have said that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't know what they consider being a success, but I consider us not having any type of situations a success. No fights, no killings amongst a bunch of us out there. You know, we had every blogger from East Texas that was in that building. I don't know what they're saying. We had Tao who shot this in that building that was shooting it. You know, so I was very pleased with the turnout, especially it rained that day. You know, it was a lot of factors mm. that went into that. Um, so I was pleased with it. Wow, and and that's the thing. Like, who did you, you I, I, man, your girl, they wanted for sure, but just the ones who came in, did, did Tech come this time? Yes, every uh, headliner showed up. Every headliner every showed up. Every single one of them. Wow, that's dope. So the thing I have about when people speak like that, like, this is what they got to understand. They, the way that they weigh success and the way I weigh success is different. So let me explain. I don't charge people to come there and make a profit. See, he charges people. He charge artists two to three hundred dollars to get on a showcase that's got a hot ass building that's filthy as fuck with no chairs to sit in. The, you know, a rainwater. The audio system sounding like snap. Wait a minute, Mama Scott. You, why, yeah, why so, did you go to? Here? Where, where did you? Wait a minute. Don't give me that. Where talk was, about why it. was that? Where, that was where here did in you? Dallas, Texas, where I was a special guest on a on a flyer that was so blurry I couldn't even hardly see my face. Did they pay you five hundred or how they much? Didn't they didn't pay me shit. Okay. And I came from my house at 55 years old to be a special guest for him and JG shit here in Dallas, Texas. Wow. Okay. And when I got here, uh, Big X was there in the building that night because he was letting the Sixers perform that night, right? But when I got here, it was kind of like unorganized. He had people all on the stage, one no respect for the people that was up there doing their songs. It was I had to clear the damn stage at his event before Ooh. my artist because I don't yeah get off the stage, bro. Show some respect for the artists that's on the stage. It's not. I don't. I don't host hood events, bro. I don't care where I'm at. I could be in the hood. I'm not hosting a hood event. It's gonna be organized. It's gonna be structured, and they're gonna respect it more. You know. But we didn't have like there was people in there. So shout out to his vendors that was in there working up under those extreme conditions in the heat. <laughs> Ice couldn't even be kept because it was so damn hot in the building. But you charge an artist two to three hundred dollars for a showcase, and what are they getting out of it? I mean, but that's how he, that's that's his forte. Then you brag about making thirty grand off of artists. What did you do for the artist? 
Who was there? What situation did they get out of what you do, out of your showcases? But it's been a hustle for years. It's, that's how they work up there. I don't know. I don't I do not do showcases to benefit off an of artist. See, what I do, I give. When an artist leaves my showcase, they leaving with something. When they sign up, they know they going for something. They got something that they're going to benefit from, from interviews like Boss Talk or all the other platforms that we have. Photo photographer sessions, they're gonna get trophies, they're gonna get cash prizes, they're gonna get so much publicity and everything that comes with it, they benefit and the networking. And on top of all that, they're in a group chat with me for six to eight weeks, getting artist development behind the scenes for free. Wow, well, tell me, how did you and him get sideways for us on that live? Because you went live. You first went live. Mama's got your live don't last. Like, yo, it goes <laughs> on. I know when you sat in that seat and you sat oh, there yeah, and you I looking at blunt. that camera. I got my blunt. And you got your blunt and, and, and you talking that talk. Like, what was the what was the motivating factor when it come down to, I know you was talking about the fast bash too mm -hmm. so that you you do you go in to talk about the fat no. bass or do you go in to go in on the in, on the person who might have had an issue no, with because you because 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 hold on because 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 Tony Neal came on my live that day, too. He's a, a CEO, big, 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 big boss of our Okay, I don't, I'm not DJs. familiar with him. Tony Neal is very relevant in the industry. Okay. Very huge. Okay. okay. Um, he's a a Akon's best friend. Okay. BG's manager type shit. Okay. Like he's up there. He, he's responsible for so much stuff, I can't even speak on Tony Neal. But we speak a lot behind the scenes. I speak a lot to a lot of people behind the for scenes. For sure. You know, but at the end of the day... Um, I wasn't even going to go live, remember? I told you don't go live. I said, don't go live, Mama Scott. Let's why did just I let go him live? make it. Well, I don't know why you just went on and went live. Because you, <laughs> wait you a don't minute. threaten me. Thre oh, yeah, that text. You don't That's why me. you went live, because of the text. You don't threaten me. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, I didn't threaten What did he say what on that text? text? Right. What, what threat? That's why me and What he said was, I call it a threat or a blackmail or whatever you want to call it. I'll pay her her money back if she don't go live. That's okay. not a stipulation with me when you owe me my money. And the thing is, is like, what I said, keep it, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you're not going to tell me what I can do. Period. My husband said, what you want to do? I said, I don't know. He said, do what you feel. That's the only nigga I listen to. The one I sleep and snore beside. So at the end of the day, um, yeah. At the end of the day, when I, I want this to be clear. It's never about the money, Don Chief. Uh, rain, water, none of that shit. Because y'all niggas came to me for, for money. Because if Rain didn't need it, if he still was balling, you would have did what I did, nigga, and came for free. Nigga. You would have came for free. So if you didn't need it, you should have declined it and said, don't worry about it. You just came up here to mind. I'm not going to charge you. It's the same distance. Matter of fact, it's shorter because I'm coming from Longview. You didn't have to come nowhere but to Tyler. So let's break it down. You know, so you're not, you might have the status of being Mo3's manager and you have that and I give that to him because he did an amazing job. I even, I even, you know, marketed for the new, new album because I'm a big, I'm a Mo3 fan for real. I'm a fan of Mo3. I took to him because you was responsible for Mo3. Or, you know, or you put a lot of work in with Mo3. But I see why niggas be really wanting to whoop his ass. <laughs> I see I see why. Because his character is flawed. I know ain't nobody teaching you to treat people like this that have been nothing but genuinely good to you. There is not one reason he can give y'all to my he shouldn't have worked with me. Nigga, what do you mean you shouldn't have worked with me? You ain't paid me shit. Well, I paid you. And fun. I didn't beg you, nigga. You took that 500 so quick, gave me the cash out in milliseconds, nigga. Like, how do you feel like you shouldn't have worked with me? But Mama Scott, he says because he promoted like he was going to be there. That he, brought people. That up. brought people. Hold when he said, when up. he did the t that, that shout out, no. he said that it's shout out like called what no. you people to no. know. No. no, 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 no. So in the other text messages you see, I'm asking him, where is your drop? Rap Economics, DJ TB. Everybody did a drop. Half paint, that's a requirement for me. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. All right. You know when he did his drop? Two days before. The same night I talked to him saying, hey, 
Now, that could have been a stipulation right there. Why did you wait so long to do this damn drop? Right? Because we got a group chat. All the judges, talk to them. Ask Hat Pint. Ask all of them if I'm lying. And I'm so present in the, in the, he was the only one that was not like responding back. Like he think he's better than folks type shit. But at the end of the day, I don't know why I let somebody that's got the same goddamn word that mean the same shit in their last name raffle my goddamn fellas no way. Rain and water the same, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.